In this video, we're going to walk through device configuration and firmware updates. Now, if you look at the devices that have been discovered, you can see there are two icons. You have your config icon. This is for your device configuration, backup and restore. And then you have your firmware icon. This is going to let you know uh, what is the most updated firmware for your device. So looking at the W7X, you can click on config. And you can see that there has been two configurations backed up. But if you wanted to back up an additional configuration, you can type a name for your configuration file, select the Save Config option, and click on OK. Once the configuration has been fully backed up, you will now have an available restoration file for your W7X access point. So you'll notice that the third file is the one that we just backed up. And if you wanted to apply this configuration to the access point, you click on the apply button. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to apply this configuration file and you will click on OK. Now, if you want to delete a configuration, you can click on this trash can and it will delete the configuration file. Now, if you want to look at the most updated firmware for the device, you can click on firmware and it's going to show you that this is the file name this is the size, and this is the updated firmware version for the W7X access point. If you click on the update button, this is going to ask if you want to apply this firmware. If you click on OK, it's going to apply the firmware to the cloud. Now, if we want to set up backups or firmware updates for groups of devices, we can go back to our dashboard. We can select on virtualization. We're going to go to group management. Now we're going to create a group. So we're going to click on the add new icon. We're going to select multiple devices in one profile. So for instance, and we're going to, going to call this config underscore FW, short for firmware. And we're going to select the actions for firmware management and configuration management. We're going to click on the Create button. We're going to go back to virtualization and group management. That way we can see now we have the config underscore FW, short for firmware. Now, if we click on this, we can see the devices that are part of this group. And again, this is just from one single profile. And if we go back to the virtualization and click on firmware management, we will click on our group and you can see which devices are capable of updating firmware through the cloud. So you can see the model S24AV and the 60D. You can see their file names, their file sizes, and versions. And then in order to apply the actual firmware update, you can just click on either apply latest firmware to all. And if you wanted to do to select the devices and you click on apply to selected, it'll just make, and make sure that you want to apply the firmware to these devices. So if you select a device, It'll give you the available firmware. You can click on apply to all or apply to select it. If you deselect it, then you have your options available again for your different devices. Now, if we come back to virtualization and we go to our group management, let's edit the existing group and we're gonna add additional devices from other NP36 profiles. So we're going to include other devices And we're doing this again from different profiles. So they're not all coming from the same network controller. They're actually from different devices on different networks. Okay, so we're going to click those devices, select the edit group. We're going to go back to the virtualization. 
and we're going to go to the firmware management option again. And if we go to our config underscore FW, you can see the additional devices that were added to this group. And you can see any additional devices that do have uh, firmware file options available to be updated through the cloud. So you do see that the S24 HAV has been added here. So if we click on the S24 HAV, this is the option available. If we click on the 60D, and even if you click all of these devices, again, from different MP36 profiles, you can still apply the update to every single router. So if we wanted to go to virtualization and select the configuration management option, we can select our device and we can select our device group. And now we can see any saved backup files we have already done for these particular devices on the network. So if we have gone into a particular profile and we've backed up our configuration, then we can see any backup configurations we have already saved on the mybackpack.com account. So again, you'll notice we have the 60D, the RE2, the S24 HAV, and the S24 AV. These specific devices in this group have the capability of restoring a configuration file from a backup. So if I click on the 60D, these are the two options I have as far as applying a saved configuration or a backed up configuration. Now you'll notice that I'm selecting these 60D routers and they are all from three different MP36 profiles. However, I can still apply either to selected. So if I deselect one of them, I can apply to selected or I can apply to all. And if I click on applying to all, it's just going to make sure that you want to apply it. So if you don't, you can click cancel. If you do, you're gonna apply this configuration to all 60D routers that have been selected as part of this config underscore FW device group. As a recap, we walked through how to update a firmware through the cloud for a single device. Also how to back up a configuration file for a single device. We created a virtualization group and added them to the action of firmware management and configuration management. We selected multiple devices and multiple MP36 profiles. We were able to update the firmware across all MP36 profiles for those specified devices, as well as apply a restored configuration to multiple devices on multiple MP36 profiles. Thank you.